Hey guys, it's Lynn. It is day 11 of my 22 push-up challenge 2.0 and hope everybody's having a great evening. This uh, video is going to be just a little bit shorter. I've been a little under the weather today, so big apologies. Um, but even under the weather, I'd like to say it's really important for me uh, to push through my push-ups for a number of reasons. And uh, one of those reasons is when my health and body is not cooperating, is being difficult to manage, um, sometimes I find it very helpful to do the types of things I am able to do. And one of those things uh, are these push-ups or other exercises to make my joints more stable. That's one of the things I do to, uh, to combat a health issue I have. And uh, so in saying that, I just wanted to put out there that, um, especially for our combat vets dealing with physical injuries or mental health issues or, or chronic pain, MST, anything that is difficult to talk about and difficult to deal with, uh, sometimes one of the things that um, can be a little life ring when we're, when we're really sort of uh, pushed to the wall with whatever it is we're dealing with, is uh, is reaching out in, uh, to an activity or a space uh, that we feel we have control, that we feel uh, reminds us that we've got agency in the world, even if uh, we've got a lot on our shoulders or a lot of uh, medical issues to deal with um, uh, at a, any given moment in time. So kind of uh, what I would consider... <clears throat> positive association strategies. Uh, so I try to use those and uh, try to make them work with the kind of things that makes my body healthier. And uh, so I just wanted to throw that out there as an idea for people in terms of, uh, of dealing with things that, um, that tend to interrupt their thought processes or their ability to function on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, that may be a good place to start in terms of strategizing um, positive, uh, positive association, positive uh, activities um, that you can do that remind you that uh, that uh, you know you uh, that you've survived thus far, and uh, and there are positive things ahead. Okay, I also wanted to mention that through the rest of the series, I think what I will focus on. Uh, are two things, chronic pain and depression. Uh, the reason being those two topics seem to pop when I did the first uh, 22 push-up challenge 2.0 and so I thought I would see what other research uh, I, could, uh, I could get into and what, what uh, new information I could find for people and hopefully functional information as well. And uh, I will talk about those two issues as well as they relate to, uh, to other um, issues and diagnoses um, and states our combat veterans face when they return home, such as MST, such as combat-related physical injuries, etc. Okay, I think that's it for tonight. I'm going to uh, do my push-ups now, <laughs> see what happens this evening. Here we go. I think that was 22. We'll double check that. Thank you everyone for watching. I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow and starting off a, a deeper conversation regarding combat pain issues, or pardon me, um, chronic pain issues our combat veterans face when they return home. Okay, ciao for now. It was a tough one tonight. Talk to you tomorrow. Hope, hopefully the push-ups will be a little better. Ciao.